What's up YouTube? So, let's say you wanted to record using Audacity, but sadly, you're like me, and Audacity is being retarded, and if you look up here, I have line in, I have line in, I have rear mic microphone, nothing more, right? I don't have that Wavo stuff that I had in Tech Ed way back in grade 9, nothing like that. I don't know why, because Audacity hates me. So. I want to record with good quality without using line in because for some reason even when you do use line in if I go down here I'll click on like uh, stereo indestructible and I'll record using line in and I'll pull the volume fast forward to some random part in the song look at song while very popular. Alright, David German. Nice job. So I go back on this, stop recording, and do it. It does have something there. If you really look, it is, you know, a little bit something. So I'm going to go to a full view, take away all this, and I, I'm just showing you kind of like what would happen to me. Take away all this, you know, everything sucks. You go into this, you go to effect, you amplify it, then you play it. It sounds like total ass, right? And then no matter what you do, even if you change the bass boost and you know you do all that type of stuff, it's still gonna sound like crap. So even if I showed you here and I go bass boost, you know, bump it up a lot, play it. Yeah, okay, it sounds decent, but you know, it kind of still sounds like ass. So, we want to listen to something good so let me look up something legal because obviously you wouldn't use this for illegal purposes I mean that would just be wrong you know because you know me and you we both have a job we can actually go out and support the artists and buy albums so I'm gonna put in the James Bond theme song just because I feel like it and I misspelled that but who cares so James Bond double seven movie theme song Rockin' the 007 theme song. Alright, now I want to record this, and I could use a line in, but that's going to be stupid. So here's the part where I'm going to tell you that, yes, you actually need to buy something. You know, you do not need to download anything. I said buy something. Do what? It's like 17 bucks, and you probably already have one lying around your head. It's one of these. It's called an auxiliary cord, alright? You know, you, you, honestly, if you buy one right now, you're going to regret it, or you're not going to regret it, because you're just going to want to use it later on in life. These things are crazy. Like, I can actually plug my MP3 player into my amplifier I can plug it into a bunch of different things like a car stereo all that type of shit all right so I want to record and I'm gonna use this thing you want to let you do you take it down here you plug it into your microphone and you plug it into your headphone now here comes the fun part so I'm gonna make it that way you don't have to do this but it just sounds better volumes all the way up the recording should be all the way up Alright, recording's all the way up. Now, let's go back down to the video. Actually, no, let's start recording right now. Alright, back down to the video and play it. Volume all the way up. So I'm going to put you up on this uh, handy dandy tripod. And I'm going to fast forward the video so that way you guys can see it. Right now, you're not going to hear anything throughout the entire video because, well, there's nothing to hear. It's playing out to the headphones and it's recording it. So, just give me a couple seconds. Alright, there we go. It's done. Song is done, it's over. Let's sing back out. Alrighty. So, go back down to Audacity. Pull it up and stop it. So, go back to the full view. Everything. Get rid of the ends. Go back to the beginning. Start playing it. See what it sounds like once I pull these things out. Can't tell me that's like the exact quality that came out of YouTube. You wanna know why? Because it pulls it straight from the headphones. Pretty bomb, right? And I'm assuming that if, if the headphones were to have left and right earphones, that it probably records it in stereo. So you, you should have the same quality on like an iPod or something. So let's stop it now. So if you're like me and you try to export it as an MP3, and you try to, I'm just going to put on my documents, it's desktop right now. So if I try to save it, and I'll put it as JB, James Bond. Save. 
it'll come up with this and it'll say you have to do this, this, this. click yes, click everything, nothing works, just doesn't work. You have to download the lame mp3 encoder, literally that's what it's called. It doesn't work for me, alright, so let's go export as wave, uh, same thing, jb wave, save it, alright, saves, go down here, all the way out, iTunes, uh, actually I'm going to have to keep this actually. Alrighty, actually, I'll get that later. Okay, so here's JB, right? You take it, open up iTunes, make it into a minimized window because you're going to need to go over where the hell did I put it. There it is. Snatch it, and then put it in the whatever, you know, playlist you want. Alright, I open up that playlist, and you can listen to it. You got your JB, you know? Sounds right. All right, now you open it up and you go to get info and you, it won't let you do anything. Well, it let you do something. So it won't let you put like album artwork or anything on it. Going on because it's gay and it's a wave file. It doesn't work. It sucks. So if you want to change that, you go to convert to MP3 version, and it creates MP3 version. Now where the hell did it go? We don't know. Well, fortunately, I can show you where it went. So there's your JB JB dot wave. It's right there. Now you want to go to it. Go to your My Music, which is probably where you save it to. It's wherever you basically get all your music from it's probably in that file you go up and it says iTunes if not you can use the search to find it iTunes file and then go down to iTunes music which is already into the file so yours should be the exact same um, it would probably be under unknown artist if you didn't have an uh, artist put in unknown album look for it JB there's your mp3 file pull it up here pull it alright and now we're gonna take this we're gonna put it into the iTunes there it is, you have two JBs. One's MP3, one's Wave. This one is the Wave one because it doesn't let me do album artwork. This one is the MP3 one because it does. So, what a waste of space on your computer. Get rid of it. Now, take it again, the JB, I guess. If you go into Unknown Albums again, there's your JB, copy. Actually, I'm just going to cut it. Cut it, bring it back, put it with all your other music. Based. There it is, there's JB. Take it and put it in because now some of the, now two of them are not going to work. That one's not going to work. And that one's not going to work because that one was the wave one which I got rid of, and the other one was the MP3 one that I moved. And the one that is working is the one that I put that I dragged from my My Music folder. Everything else is gone. Your computer's nice and clean. All right. So you put it back up. You do what you got to do with it, and yeah, that's how it's done and you put it in your folders and everybody's happy hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps you that's how you record using audacity if you're waving and stuff your computer's retarded like me and that's also where you get the mp3 files when you convert them on itunes itunes is great for converting things into mp3 files all right see you later